All right, I hope you're enjoying these hacks. We're now on hack number four. And hack number four is gonna be great for those people who need to allow their customers to update their credit card. So maybe you have subscriptions or memberships, things like that, and you want to allow your customers to update their credit card number, but maybe you don't have a membership site where that technology is kind of included in membership sites, and uh, maybe you don't love the built-in uh, update credit card functionality in Infusionsoft um, because it's just not great. Um, so uh, here's another alternative that's actually really, really easy to execute and uh, will help you to make this a smooth and easy experience for your customers. So let's dig right in here. Basically, the first thing you're going to do is create a product that is a $0 update credit card product. So go ahead and hit the add, to, add a product button there and you're gonna create a product. You can call it, of course, uh, whatever you'd like, but uh, I'll just call it update credit card. And uh, make sure it's active, put the product price as $0, and then make sure there's uh, no shipping required on this product. Um, because it's not actually a product, right? But we're gonna utilize it to hijack the functionality of Infusionsoft to allow people to update their credit card. So you're gonna create a product, save it like that and then the next thing we need to do is we're going to go create an order form so go to e-commerce setup and go to order forms and hit create new and i'll just call this update credit card for my order form save that looks like i've already got one with that name so i'll call it update credit card do there we go. All right, and then we need to find our product, right? Our update credit card product. There we go. We're going to add that product to the order form again for $0, quantity 1, that's fine. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the theme here. I'm going to choose the Tyler Surf Shack theme. We'll make that one active. And Save that and then we'll, we'll preview it here. So we preview that and we can see here that we've got update credit card, $0, uh, $0 on the, on the total. Uh, there's a promo code area here, there's a PayPal button. If you're using PayPal, uh, you probably don't want people to utilize PayPal for this <laughs> because PayPal I don't think will know what to do with a $0 order. Uh, plus then it's in PayPal, not in Infusionsoft and we need it in Infusionsoft. So uh, minor thing here, what we're gonna do is go into the HTML areas. I like to do this in the bottom one and you're gonna put this little code here. It's not difficult, so just make a style tag there and then put uh, the pound sign and then this check out with PayPal link preview and then curly brackets. You can go on a new line if you want, display colon, none, semicolon, and then close your curly brackets and close your style tag. And I'll put this code in the post here uh, along with this video so that you can just copy and paste it. So go ahead and hit save on that guy. And then we'll hit the preview again. Let's refresh. There we go. Now the PayPal button's gone. If you don't have PayPal enabled, then you're not going to have to worry about that. Another thing you might want to do is, is get rid of the promo code area. I don't remember off the top of my head what that is, so let's just look at it here. Um, yeah, I mean you may want to use may want to use uh, some jQuery to get in there and hide that correctly. Uh, there's not a super easy, simple way to do that. Uh, maybe I'll add some code in the post to to do that as well, um, just so it doesn't confuse people. Then, uh, of course, people are going to hit pay with credit card. And again, you can use some JavaScript or some jQuery to change the label on that to call that update, um, update credit card. And they're going to put in their information and uh, put in their credit card and they're good to go. Now, my label here is money information. That may not make sense. So again, go back to your order form and um, you can go to this terms or actually, sorry, on the theme itself, I think we have to do this. So you may, might wanna make a copy of your theme or um, you know, just make a new theme specifically for this. So I'm gonna go out to our e-commerce setup 
and go to order form themes and go to the Tyler Surf Shack theme and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to go to my labels here so where it said uh, money information you know maybe I'll just put that uh, credit card billing address we'll save that now we'll go back and refresh and now that'll make more sense credit card billing address to have that label there instead of um, you know, money information or whatever it, it had before right your labels might say something different um, and then again um, you know it maybe some uh, quick little JavaScript to change the label on the place order there uh, to change that to update credit card and then you're good now the great thing about using this method is um, you can then also go and create a campaign that does what you need it to do so you might already have a billing automation campaign we'll call this billing automation you might already have a billing automation campaign that gets triggered when the credit card fails or when it's about to expire uh, or something like that so I'll put expired or failed credit card and those triggers of course can be uh, triggered in the billing automation area which I'll show you in a sec and then here you're gonna have your sequence reaching out to the customer saying hey you need to update your credit card and you're gonna link those emails of course to the order form that we just created now we can also use the product purchase goal here so that when they purchase that product or when they update their credit card so we're gonna do a specific product and we're gonna do our update credit card product okay and we're going to include zero dollar invoices we need to do that because uh, typically people are buying stuff and the credit card actually being charged is what triggers the goal but in this case the credit card's not going to be charged so we need to make sure the zero dollar invoice triggers this goal here we can actually uncheck that if we want because the zero dollar invoice is all that we need um, okay so now that goal will be achieved and then we can do whatever we need to do on the back end after someone updates their credit card maybe alert someone inside the company to go and change the credit card on their subscription maybe we need to uh, communicate back to the customer hey thanks for update your, updating your credit card maybe we, we need to restore tags uh, so that um, they have access to the membership site again whatever it is that you need to do that can happen there so you've got your your triggers which by the way let's just go out and show you where that's at if you're not familiar I'm going to go into your e-commerce settings and you're going to go into your billing automation here and here's where you can add a trigger so you can say when a credit card auto charge attempt is made add trigger so when an auto charge fails on the first failure or the last failure or whatever number of failure and then choose your products or whatever um, you can choose all of them if you'd like then do whatever down here I might say okay then if, if, if the credit card fails then I'm gonna apply a tag and that tags gonna be a trigger tag that is going to start the um, the campaign that we were just looking at right this billing automation campaign it would be a tag that achieves this first goal that puts a person in a sequence and I might tag them for someone who has a, an expired or failed credit card I'm gonna follow up with them with emails sending them to the zero dollar order form when they fill out the order form then this product purchase goal will be achieved and then I can follow up appropriately so that's just a, a quick little hack that um, is really easy to implement uh, but it's also really really helpful if you don't want to pay for additional technology or you don't have membership site technology that can do that for you and you want the experience to be smooth and easy for your customers so hopefully you enjoy that and stay tuned for the next hack